Hello, everyone. We have a very special guest. We have Grace in the house. Welcome, Grace. Hi, thank you. <laughs> so Grace actually graduated from my coaching program. When was it, Grace? Like how? I would want to say like maybe January, December. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. So Grace graduated December, January from my coaching program. And so that was, well, that was like five or six months ago. So, and here we are, and we're finally doing this. So yay, I'm excited. <laughs> Cause you had a big, you had a big transformation in the program and I want other people to hear your story. Oh, would, would you mind just sharing um, how old you are? Um, I'm 19 years old and I'm a freshman in college. Okay, beautiful. So if you can kind of just share a little bit about where you were before you came into this program, like what yeah. were you struggling with? Yeah, so actually I started struggling really bad when I was in third grade. So for me, that was about like 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, it all started off with anxiety. So always like getting sick over like tests and like the little things like that, um, which like grew into me being super depressed because I was scared I was disappointing everybody and all that stuff. So then I got to my freshman year of high school and I got a boyfriend and it probably was not the best idea for me, but it was very abusive and just not healthy at all, which also deteriorated my mental health. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's where that went. And then COVID hit, which made me just like horrible. Like my mental health was like, there was nothing there. I hated everything. I didn't want to do anything. I stayed in bed all day. Um, then I graduated, which also made me very sad because I'm growing up. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then I get to college. Um, oh, and I've also been struggling with like ADHD and like um, PTSD stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I've had a bunch of traumatic things happen throughout high school. Um, and then I get to college and I've been a homebody my whole life. So then getting to college, I'm on the floor of my suite mates room, bawling my eyes out every day because I want to go home. I'm four hours away from home. And it's funny because I one day I was crying on the floor and my mom calls me and she asked me about your program. Mm -hmm. And I was like, sure, like whatever, like just I need something right now. Like I just need some sort of hope. And here I am. So. Wow. Wow. Amazing. And thank you. Thank you for sharing all of that. So you come into this program and what were you surprised by doing all of this? Like what surprised you? What did you see that you didn't maybe expect to happen that happened for you so there was one day when we did something and it was um we would have a negative comment towards ourselves, and then we'd like reverse it to saying like i am this yeah like for some reason that just took my brain for like a total spin because it's like i don't remember the last time i complimented myself or like ever like looked in the mirror and actually was like like you're beautiful like mm. you got this and i've never said to myself before so having someone there to push me to say that yes like, I just like put my brain in a total circle wow wow was that one of the shifting points for you that and then when we did the breath work too yeah like I just felt like just a rush go through my body and it was like oh my god like like who is she like who is this girl like this <laughs> isn't who you were like two seconds ago like yeah yeah, yeah absolutely oh I love this so share with everyone who's watching this, where, where are you now? So, where are you now in your life? Talk about the transformation. Sure. So right now I am, I'm actually getting up. So I started substituting for schools and stuff. And that's something I would never do. I can never get up and talk in front of anybody. I can never put myself out there for stuff. So I started teaching a little bit. Um, I just finished my freshman year of college with a 3.7 GPA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I myself to do things I never thought I could. Um, I started taking like media and communication classes, which I would never do because I was never like one to get up and talk to everybody. Yes, stuff like that. So um, I've also learned to like take control of situations that I can control mm. instead of just waiting for something else to happen. Like I've felt so much stronger about everything. I started going to the gym. Yeah, gym anxiety and <laughs> I was scared of everybody in there and <laughs> yeah so I I feel different like I feel like I walk different I feel like like I the way like I walk like I walk with my head up 
Yeah. Even like the little things like that is what really is like what matters to me. Absolutely. Oh, I love this so much. I'm just so thrilled for, for where you are right now. What would you say for any parent or any girl or young woman who may be watching this right now thinking or wondering if this is for them? So I know now I, do see, <laughs> yeah. um, I see like a lot of girls like changing their appearance, thinking yeah. it's going to work. Mm-hmm. But like first I want to say is like, work on your mindset before changing your appearance. Because I know like I was one of those people who was always like, maybe I'll cut my hair. Maybe I'll cut my hair. Like, yeah, stuff like that. And like, I just want to say like, work, the mindset is the most important thing first. Like your appearance does not matter. Like anyone's beautiful, no matter like what you look like, anything. It's the mindset that you need to work on first. Like just being able to tell yourself one compliment a day. That's it. Like, that's like, so mindset. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Why do you think this, like, how is this program going to help them with that versus going and buying a self-help book or going on YouTube for five minutes versus actually doing this program? Because you basically learn how to talk to yourself differently and you learn how to say like, I'm better than what I think I am. So like, I think this program is basically about like changing your mindset about yourself. Like reading a book's really just like saying like, oh, I'm just going to tell myself I'm pretty every day and not, not mean it. Yeah. So to like actually being forced to say it several times and actually end up meaning it in one of those seven times you say it. Yes. I'm trying to find like a better way to explain it, but it's like, I don't know. It's like, just like mindset is like the main thing because I feel like just reading a book is not going to change anything absolutely and mindset and self-love go hand in hand yes if you don't have a good mindset if you don't have empowering beliefs that you're saying to yourself every single day then you're not loving yourself so you can't have self-love you can't have confidence and really amazing self-esteem if you haven't worked the mindset piece would you agree yes (laughs) wow well I'm just again, I'm thrilled for you and your transformation and how far you have come. Like it's a testament to you and the work because the program works. It does, but it takes a special individual to actually show up in the way that you did to put in the effort, to put in the energy that you did and just be like, I'm committed and I'm going to do this. Like, this is, this is what I want from all of this. And you're living that you're living proof. So I thank you for sharing your story and for anyone who is watching who would like more information you can check out my master class it's called healing the new medicine for anxiety and depression and from there you can go ahead and book a call with one of my team members so with that thank you so much grace (laughs) of course anytime